let me tell you first uh, what is next tracker in a, in a global basis because we just received the good news of the of the Bud McKenzie report that positions next tracker as leader globally so we have over 65 gigawatts uh, in sales uh, sales or in operation so that's uh, give us the the proud and pre to be 30 percent having 30 percent market share globally so that's uh, very good news and specifically in africa continent we have over 56 percent according to the same report with mckenzie so we are in africa also with some projects already deployed and that are performing well in countries like egypt like uh, angola in countries like kenya so, so we have uh, here, as I said, 56% market share. So we have a very good establishment because it positions Next Tracker as a leader, as a tracker manufacturer. So we have very big targets. That's why we are investing in, in global expansion. This is one of the differentiation of Next Tracker as an American company, but with a very clear uh, intention to keep growing exponentially, in fact, uh, globally in other countries, right? So I'm, I'm a senior vice president for European region, but all the European clients that are investing also in Africa are our customers. And we know and we follow this kind of trend of helping them with this technology to expand also in their projects in, in African countries. So, uh, for example, now we are in, in negotiation with, with companies that are from Europe that are deploying, that they are here also in this, in this exhibition, like SCATEC. So we are uh, talking to them and, and they are counting with our technology of Next Tracker to position ourselves in some of these projects. I cannot disclose uh, so much, but uh, I, I can tell you that uh, being number one, it helps. We have a, a good design, a good technology behind. We have um, a good uh, customer service and a good operation. So our service pre-contract and after sales has been excellent. So our customers normally repeating, are repeating with us. So and not only in one region, in, a, in one geography, but in many geographies. So these customers that we are foreseeing and we are following from Europe are also working here in African countries in different latitudes, either North Africa or South Africa, for example. And uh, Next Tracker has been leader of this industry for the last seven years. And that's also thank you to the investment in R&D. So we have been always the first ones to deploy new technologies in this industry. And we are facing a lot of improvements, not only for the hardware, but also for the software. So in the terms of, of hardware, uh, our design has been proved to be very uh, robust and easy to install, easy, easy to do maintenance, so it's, it's more competitive. And we are looking in order, uh, in two directions, right? To, to improve the goal of the IPP companies, developers that are mainly to improve the return on investment and reduce the LCOE. And the other side to help also EPC companies to reduce the time and the cost of the projects, right? So in this direction, we have been, you mentioned uh, True Capture is uh, for us is unique compared to other tracker manufacturers because has been deployed, has been functioning uh, in over 23 gigawatt right now, globally. So of the 65 gigawatt that we have been already sold, 23 has this, this true capture. And we are receiving all this big quantity of data in order to prove, also with some technical consultants uh, companies, to prove that in fact, this software, these algorithms, is increasing and boosting the energy yield by two, three, even 4%, in some cases even more than that, depends on the slopes and depends on the shades. So true capture is really important to complement the good design of the hardware, of the structure itself, of the tracker. 
What it does is to focus on mainly two parameters. One is to mm, manage the shadows, the shades. So we are making sure that, that we maximize the production of the, of the tracker along the years of the lifetime of the design, 25, 30 years design life. And the second thing is also to take on consideration the atmospheric conditions, right? Either wind, so you know the tracker has to put in defense position, stow position, we call it, when there is a strong winds. So the true capture is also learning according to the conditions and the forecast, how to position the tracker to reduce the time that is on, on stow position and maximize the production of the energy. And secondly, obviously in case of, of, of cloudy days. So we have a position that true caption is, is um, dictating that the tracker has to be flat, almost flat, parallel to the floor in order to maximize the radiation capture of the electrons, so in, in, in the diffuse energy in cloudy days. So this is what makes true capture to be a complement that could be maximizing uh, the, on a yearly basis around two, three percent. That's with 23, uh, 25, 30 years of design, it makes a lot of energy extra. That is a lot of uh, return on investment at the end.